The film starts showing a girl named, Lucinda, it was recess time for, Lucinda, who was in an educational institute at the time. But she was not playing like other students, but she was standing at a place as she is feeling afraid from someone. Lucinda, was constantly hearing some mysterious voices. As someone was wanting to tell her something. Meanwhile, the recess is over, and teacher asks all students to move into the classes from ground. But, Lucinda, remains unable to hear her voice. Then teacher takes her in the class, coming to her. Now the teacher tells the class students that tomorrow is the formal opening day. And she tells to all students that, there will be held a competition on the formal opening day. And the students will sketch such things in this competition that, they think as these things may happen in the future. All students were so excited for this competition, and they begin to draw something except, Lucinda. Lucinda, was writing some numbers on her sheet, and she had filled her sheet while writing the numbers. Before it, Lucinda, may write the last numbers, their required time is over for competition. Lucinda's teacher takes her sheet from her, teacher keeps all students drawing into a time capsule. And they are told, this time capsule will be opened after five decades. Now that time capsule is buried on the formal school opening day. Then Lucinda's teacher glimpses her. Lucinda is disappeared within a second. Due to this, teacher had got worried. Now teacher and the whole staff was searching for, Lucinda, while calling her. Lucinda's teacher reaches the basement in her search. Where she was hearing the voices from a room. There was standing, Lucinda, as they opened that room. But she was so scared and her finger was also bleeding. Now they come to know, looking at the door that, Lucinda, has engraved some numbers on it. These were the same numbers which were being heard in murmured voice in surroundings by her. And these last numbers which had not been written on her sheet by her. Lucinda, had feared because of the murmuring in her surroundings. And she says to her teacher, stop these voices, now five decades are passed in the movie and a scientist come on the scene. Who is in depressive disorder after the death of his wife. That scientist's son named, Caleb, is also shown here. And that kid was also facing depression after the death of his mother. Next day, there was 50th anniversary of Caleb's school. And they had to take the buried time capsule out according to the, Lexington school. For this task, school principal named, Taylor, who was Lucinda's teacher. All students are given the sheets from that time capsule. Caleb, also gets a sheet. But the sheet that he had, there were not drawings like the other kids but there were numbers. Because he had the sheet of, Lucinda, and the same murmuring as also started around Caleb's surroundings as, Lucinda, heard. He thinks that these voice are coming from the distance of school. Those voices stop coming as he ponders over those voices. Coming to the house, scientist, John, and his son, Caleb, are talking with each other. At the same time, that scientist notices the sheet of, Lucinda. He was astonished, seeing that sheet of, Lucinda. He was thinking as there is surely a message in these numbers. But he ignores those sheet's digits. After a time, John, keeps his glass mistakenly on that drawing. As a result, some numbers are encircled on the sheet. When he notices these numbers then he comes to know that this is a date, at that date, many students had been killed in the classroom. When he casts a glance at that paper then those numbers had also written on it, the number of the dead people at that day. Seeing it, that scientist was shocked. He begins to detect other numbers now, writing the reaming numbers on the whiteboard. And it is revealed on his detection that the numbers written on that sheet, those were not the useless numbers. Either these were dates or digits. These dates were indicating towards the calamities or adversities. There were other some numbers ahead of those dates. These were those numbers which indicated how many people died in this calamity. And the year in which, Lucinda, had written this sheet, the tragedies which had occurred from that day till now, they were mentioned on that sheet. Now scientist begins to encircle the dates with the red color. And he begins to encircle the death dates with bluish color. There were still a few numbers for which he was finding difficulty to calculate. Next day, John meets with one of his co-worker, and he describes about this sheet. He tells that the numbers which have been written on this sheet, either these are the dates of the calamities or the digits of the dead people in that disaster. John also tells him that these numbers are in that series, 
the series of dates in which any tragedy occurred on this earth. And he was telling him that there is also mentioned the date of tomorrow, where 21 people will be ended, but it was difficult to believe in it by the co-worker of John. And this co-worker says to John, these numbers may be only accidental, because there are also many other numbers on this paper which were seeming meaningless. Now he says to John, for relaxing him that someone may make fun with you. John goes to the house of that teacher to know the reality of that paper. Who was Lucinda's teacher before five decades? And he confirms to John, this sheet is original and it had been stated by a little girl, Lucinda. He also tells John, with this, the days when Lucinda had written this sheet, Shish was also facing some mysterious happenings at that time. It means that she used to hear some strange voices in her surroundings. And she also tells the event of that day, when Lucinda was no longer there. She had also used her fingernails to engrave some digits on the door. Now, John, Lucinda, wanted to know about Lucinda. But teacher tells him that Lucinda had died a few years ago after suffering from a disease. Coming outside, John notices that his son, Caleb, is talking with someone. And that strange man gives a stone to Caleb, and he leaves without saying to him anything. Next day, it is seen that John was on the road to pick Caleb from the school. He was unable to move ahead because of the traffic jam. Suddenly, he looks at the GPS of the car. Through its digits, he recalls some digits written on the sheet. And it is known while investigating that an airplane has crashed here. John searches for the facts of that accident, returning to home. Where he comes to know that 81 people had been died now. It means that Sheet's prediction was absolutely right. The same mysterious man comes on the scene in the room of Caleb. Who had given Caleb a black stone. He shows a scene to Caleb where everything is set on fire and the people are escaping to save their lives. Caleb screams after being afraid from him, and John hurriedly reaches his son. But that man had left the room till that time. John witnesses that man out of window. That man disappears from there as he goes to catch him. Next day, John reaches Lucinda's daughter while collecting information about her in some way. That girl's name was Diana, John tells her about the sheet of Lucinda, whose prediction was proving true. And he also tells that an accident will occur exactly after three days, in which 33 people will be ended. Now, John was saying to her, I need your help to secure the lives of those people. But Diana was considering all his conversation worthless. So she moves away along with her daughter. Reaching home, John hears a news broadcast by TV, in which they were broadcasting about the next day terrorists attack. John makes a GPS code while using the series of numbers of that sheet. He informs police officers that an attack is going to happen at the service station. Then, John moves to the service station with police officers where they encounter a man on whom they were suspecting as he is a terrorist. Actually, he was an ordinary thief. In the meantime, they observe, another train has changed its track. That train is crashed with another train because of changing the track. There is created a turmoil among the people, and the passengers begin to come out of the trains. And many passengers had also died in this train accident. It had proved through it that Lucinda's this prediction is also absolutely right. John was also among the survivors. As he returns to his home, then he meets Lucinda's daughter there who tells her that the last digit on this sheet is relevant with upcoming day. And, Diana, tells that, Lucinda, often used to say that I will be no more on this date. And she also tells, John, now, it was the cause that she used to dislike her mother, because she used to have the knowledge about the death dates of the people. Now, Diana, leads, John, to that house where, Lucinda, was habitual to go there at that time, when she wanted to retire herself from others. Those people observe the last digits of that sheet, where reversed, EE, -E, had been written. And they thought as these are the family name alphabets of Lucinda. They know as they investigate, going into the house. That EE -E, was the indication of everyone else. It means that everyone will be died on this date. Then, John, views many of the stones which that strange man had given to Caleb. 
There were Diana's daughter and Caleb in the car outside. Now the same strangest people appear there who had already been seen by Caleb. They were saying to the kids, come to us. Their murmuring was the same which was heard by Lucinda. In the same way as Caleb had also heard it at the start of the movie. Caleb does not follow them but he honks the horn of vehicle, showing his smartness. Diana and John immediately detect that there is something wrong outside. And they also come outside, but those strange people had gone till that time. But John observes one of those men and asks, going after him, what do you want? At the same time, that man opens his mouth and bright light emits from his mouth. As that light stops coming then that man is vanished. After this, they all move to the house of John, where Diana was grieved because she was also sure that Lucinda's prediction used to be truthful. According to her prediction, everyone will be died after a day. It is their last night in this world with one another. After a time, Diana's daughter makes a drawing. John assesses through this drawing that the coming disaster will appear from the sunside. He quickly goes to his office and observes the solar radiations of which reading was not at an average level. Consequently, such radiations are going to be emitted from the sun, which could destroy the entire solar system. John notices after coming to house that Caleb was also writing the same sheets, which sheets used to be written by Lucinda. Caleb remembers here that teacher had informed that some digits had also been engraved on the door by Lucinda. He goes to the school instantly and returns to his house, taking that door. However, Diana departs with her daughter and Caleb before he arrives at the residence to hide into a cave so that they be protected from the solar flare. John knows after calculating the read engraved digits on the door that there is also a part of Earth where they can protect from this calamity going there. But he does not find anyone with Diana coming to house. Now he goes to chase them. Diana is shown here at a filling station. It was being broadcast that a threatening disaster is going to appear in the world. An underground shelter is required for everyone. Diana calls John here and she tells him where she is. John tells her that we have only one shelter where we can protect ourselves while moving there. And it is that house where Lucinda used to go to hide herself. She was busy and calling through cell phone that some people steal her car. Her kids were also there. Now, Diana begins to follow him after stealing a car. But she faces accident in hurry. Now, Diana had also died on the prediction of her mother, Lucinda. John reaches Lucinda's that house in some way where he was seeing the same black stones everywhere. And, Caleb also possessed one of them. And, Lucinda had also some of them. Now, John casts a glance at that strange man and he was going to shoot him, his son, Caleb, stops him and reveals that these people are going to secure us it is exposed here they were same people who were revealing about these calamities at first their voices were heard by lucinda now their voice were also heard sometimes to caleb now some spaceships are appeared from the sky now john had come to know that it is the time to leave earth but those strange people don't make john sit in their spaceship because that spaceship was only for the kids including, Caleb, and Diana's daughter. Caleb and John meet with each other for the last time. Now those weird people had turned into a glistening figure. Who moved to their spaceship, taking those kids, and the spaceship flies to the space from there. Meanwhile, John observes many other spaceships there. John finds himself on the floor of black stone as the dawn breaks. And he comes to know. Witnessing in his surroundings that calamity has started. He immediately comes to his family. He tells him there that Caleb has saved. John's family embrace each other. And it is seen that solar flare had started to destroy the whole world. In this way, the whole world had eradicated. In the end, it is seen that spaceship drops those kids at different places. Where Caleb and his friend were at a very pleasant place as it is paradise. The movie completes with it, but nothing is revealed about those weird men. Who had picked Caleb and his friend? They may be aliens. Who had taken away some of the people to space from Earth in order to protect the humanity?
as it had been seen as many other spaceships had also descended into the space with Caleb's ship. There may be more kids in other spaceship, who possesses multi-capabilities and skills, and aliens had taken them from this planet, that they might be able to start a fresh life in a new world. As Caleb and her friend were seen at the end of the movie, this explanation completes on this scene.